Hello, and welcome to Toneless Painting with M. Francis McCarthy. This is your painter in residence, M. Francis McCarthy, and welcome as well to day 14 of 25 Days of Tonalism, Volume 2. Uh, today is Saturday, August uh, we 26th over here in sunny, well, sometimes sunny uh, New Zealand. And uh, I'm in the studio today. I actually, uh, it's a little earlier for me than usually. I do this it's about 10 in the morning, but uh, uh, the wife was out delivering a baby and she needed uh, me to get her some lunch. So I came home a little bit earlier. Um, I am fixing when I get back in the studio to go after a really big painting, 1824, and uh, keep your fingers crossed for me. I hope it goes well. It's always oh, it seems so big to me, and um, well, it is. It's much bigger than uh, I'm usually that comfortable painting, but uh, you know, I, I keep working at it, and uh, we all have our crosses to bear. Um, let me see. I was uh, at several points this week tempted to get on and uh, start ranting about uh, abstract art, and uh, um, not that I dislike. Um, all abstract art or even most of it just I guess a lot of it how about that uh, but maybe I'll spare you I'll spare you I guess what I really want to stress is and you've heard me talk about this before but if you're an artist and you have something uh, you want to you want to do art you want to paint or draw or create in clay or whatever it is all I can say is that really you should be thinking about what it is you're trying to bring into the world and why people should care about it why what what will they get from looking at it what will they get from really trying to understand it and what you're doing and what are you trying to do with your art and uh I was listening to a lecture by a guy, uh, Jordan Peterson, some of you have heard of him. He gets quite a lot of mm, flack for being, uh, you know, some having some conservative point of view, but the, the fact is the guy is pretty much a liberal, you know, he just believes in freedom of speech, and uh, that doesn't make you a conservative as far as I'm concerned. But anyway, um, he was making the point, he was talking in this lecture uh, about um, people that people should purchase artwork and that, uh, that that what artists are trying to do ideally is trying to describe the transcendent they're trying to describe things that or, or invoke things that are um, not easily uh, perceived in our day-to-day -day lives and they do this through the power of intuition and if you're an artist and you're not striving to do this sort of thing, trying to convey, whether it's abstract or representational or whatever it is you're trying to do, if you're not digging into the depths of your intuition and your uh, your being as a person and, and, and doing your best to convey something meaningful, at least by your measurement of meaning, um, you're wasting your time, and you're not just wasting your time, you're wasting everybody else's time, too. And that's not to say, I mean, you could just be producing decorative art that, uh, you know, looks good in a real estate office or something like that, I, I, or a, a hotel lobby, but I can't help but think that a meaningful work of art in either one of those situations would be better. And... I know it's difficult, and it's sometimes difficult uh, for people who don't know art to know how to look at art, and um, especially art that's not very obvious and easy. You know, it doesn't—it's not based on comic books or uh, tattoos or that sort of thing. And I'm not denigrating comic books or tattoos. I love comic books dearly, but the sort of art you'll find in a comic book is not the sort of art that's going to move you into greater realms of transcendence. I'll be right back. Anyway, if you've uh, been listening to me for any time at all, you've already heard this lecture, so... But I feel it's important because this lies at the root of what you're doing as an artist. This is the base or the foundation 
the base of the foundation should be observation, experience, philosophy, reasoning, feeling. All of these things should build into your art where most people when they come to art they're coming from the surface and then trying to drill down. You'll do a lot better art if you start with things of substance and then the surface takes care of itself. You know, and that's not to say that uh, you shouldn't worry about things like technique, although actually I, sh I guess to be honest you shouldn't worry about things like technique. You should just be doing your best to express something that's true, even if it's idealized, even if it's synthetic, as most of the work I do is. Um, and uh, when I say synthetic, I mean it in the positive meaning of the word, as in something created, not as in something made out of plastic, you know. Um, now this is, you know, this is the hard way. I, I don't know if you if you are going to try and do something the easy way, all you're ever going to get is this kind of surfacey art that won't mean anything in the context of art history. It won't mean anything to people of substance. It won't mean anything other than it's something on a wall that would have been blank otherwise, which I guess if that's the best you can do, then that's better than nothing. It's better than a blank wall. Um, but why not take that place on the wall that you're uh, going to cover and and try and express, um, you know, who you are as a human being and, and how you see uh, the world and and um, how you feel, you know. what? Why not express some of these things that are more uh, deep and that have more meaning? And um, you can do it. I mean, all you really need to do is care. You just have to start by caring about things like that. Um, and, you know, I think... Some of the reason why, pardon me, um, why I'm always stressing these things is, you know, my studio is in this art center, and so I, I see all sorts of artists all the time uh, there, and, uh, you know, some of them are awesome, and then um, a lot of them, you know, are just people that want to do some art, you know, and then some of them are just people doing things for I don't know what reason, I don't know what they're after, I don't know what they're up to, and I see a lot of this, it's like, It's like they they got this idea that being an artist would be a cool thing and that artists are treated well and that they're respected and that uh, some of them get rich and you're thinking, well, those all, those all sounds like, like things I'd like. I'd like to be well regarded and I'd like to be rich and I'd like to uh, be famous and, 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 and be acknowledged by history. Those things sound awesome. but. Why? Why should history care about you? What, what are you doing that um, is is even going to matter to anyone after you're dead? You know, if you're just throwing paint down and um, muddling through. Well, I I can't diss you for muddling through because frankly, that's all I do. I mean, I'm just muddling through as well. But I know what my intentions are, and I believe intention is at the root of all art and if you know it's already very very difficult to do a good painting but you have almost no hope at all of doing a good painting unless you have the right intention and that intention should be to do a good painting and how do you do that well you start by doing a lot of paintings I'd recommend if you're somebody starting out that uh, you try and do a painting every day and it may that because uh, that's not that easy to do you may want to make that a small painting every day um, do a painting every day keep the good ones either uh, sand the uh, bad ones down and paint over the top or uh, destroy them uh, in some other manner um, don't worry about them and don't be too worried about how good you are early on either because how good can you be when you're just starting out I mean it takes a long time to develop um, the ability to paint well and uh, I'm speaking as somebody who paints well some of the time you know but I have to say every time that I sit down to do a painting I've got a bit of trepidation you know it's never easy um, no matter how many I've done it's never easy uh, which is one of the reasons why I settled on this uh, you know when I was an illustrator I have to say once I got my formulas nailed down, 
I can apply that formula to any different uh, set of reference material and produce a uh, competent il saleable illustration and um, now at times I did produce excellent illustration and other times average illustration either way it was always art in the service of commerce so it wasn't that big a deal you know for me to work a formula or for me to appropriate uh, some other artist's style and um, uh, apply that to uh, you know whatever reference material uh, the job was requiring this is a whole nother thing you know um, that said you know time spent doing illustration time spent drawing it all adds up to making you better but I guess the point I'm trying to make here is that it doesn't really make it easier if you're trying to do art if you're trying to do something that is um, going to be significant and uh, the last thing I want to say is like this is all heavy stuff but that doesn't mean you need to be heavy about your approach it just means you take what you do seriously and that you're earnest okay so I'm not encouraging people to be hyper uh, self-critical or any of that because that's not going to get you where you want to go either I am encouraging people to put their um, time and attention into things that actually have value that's where I'm coming from so if you feel you're producing work that is uh, not qualifying there then uh, maybe stop and take stock or uh, do some studies after the masters or something and try and get a handle on it anyway I can see we're getting close to the end thanks for joining us today for day 14 I'll be back tomorrow with one of my paintings and I've got some some brand new ones lined up for you so I'm pretty excited to put put those out there on, a, on YouTube and on my blog um, so come back tomorrow and check that out and hopefully enjoy the uh, Julius Jacob van der Sandy Bachhuysen who's not a guy I know much about I just liked his painting and made a copy of it um, anyway see you tomorrow meanwhile please take good care and stay out of trouble <laughs>